Emerson came to Monza, leading the championship by 25 points. And with just three races left, this meant the barring accidents, he was virtually assured of the title. To snatch it from him, his only rival, Denny Halm, would have to make a clean sweep in Italy, Canada and the US, with Emerson himself well out of the frame on each occasion. Qualifying at Monza resulted in the two championship contenders being side by side on the third row, with pole position going to Jackie Ix ahead of Chris Amon, Jackie Stewart and Clay Rigazzoni. After a messy start to the race, Jackie Stewart suffered a transmission failure on the grid that forced the rest of the field to take evasive action. The Ferraris of Jackie Ix and Clay Rigazzoni took the lead. And while Emerson moved up to third behind Rigazzoni, Denny Halm slipped back to sixth. The Ferrari stayed out in front until lap 17 when Rigazzoni, having snatched the lead from his teammate three laps earlier, was then forced to retire with damaged rear suspension. Emerson, meanwhile, had closed on X, and when the Ferrari's engine failed with nine laps to go, he swept through and went on to win comfortably from Mike Halewood. His victory acclaimed by a momentarily tense and then ecstatic Colin Chapman. And as the champagne celebrations gathered pace on the podium, with Maria Helena again paying lip service to her husband's triumph, the world's most passionate motorsport fans gave a hero's welcome to the modest and unassuming 25-year-old, now confirmed as the youngest ever world champion. Emerson began the new season in champion style, winning the opening Argentine Grand Prix before moving on to Interlagos for the first ever Brazilian Grand Prix. Today is much warmer than yesterday. I don't think we can go quicker than yesterday. I hope I can, but I don't think so. Oh, it's a very fast track and uh, I think it's going to be very hot because of the weather conditions. If we stay like this, it's going to be hard for the tires.